Hello, welcome to Covered Bridge on TV8. I'm Kim Fuller, co-owner of Jaunt Media Collective in Westvale and editor-in-chief of Covered Bridge Magazine. And I'm Bobby LaRue, the other co-owner of Jaunt Media Collective and the director of partnerships at Covered Bridge Magazine. Uh, we have the pleasure of sitting down with some really awesome locals that really celebrate collaboration and really have created some unique things for our valley and the state wide. Uh, so today we're sitting down with David Walsh with uh, Van Life Customs. Alex and Kuhn of Huga Life. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, can you give us a little idea of what Van Life Customs is and what you guys do over there? Absolutely, Bobby. So we build uh, bespoke camper vans on the Mercedes Sprinter, Ford Transit, and Ram Pro Master chassis. Uh, we're essentially set up as an upfitter, so you bring us an empty van and we build you the camper van of your dreams. Ah, that's pretty awesome. And Alex and Kuhn, give us a little idea of how to pronounce your business yeah. and what exactly you guys do over there. All right, so maybe we start with huga. So huga is a Danish word that doesn't translate directly, but it kind of means coziness. So it's just this feeling, feeling really good, content, happy in a moment. Um, and our shop and cafe located in Eagle Vale is called Huga Life. So we basically import um, all sorts of home goods, furniture, lighting, decor, um, all, from all over Scandinavia and Europe that we feel like creates an atmosphere that creates that huga feeling. Mm -hmm. So when I think of van life, I, I think of cozy, right? And being yeah. in a van and being able to, to go anywhere you want and really um, create your life by design. So what was it, Dave, that, you know, what was the impetus of starting to work with Huga Life? Yeah. Uh, well, we've known Alex and Kuhn for a while here in the Valley. Love going into their shop and checking things out. And every time I'd walk through there, I'd be like, wow, this would be so cool to incorporate in a van build. Like, mm -hmm. how could we get this vibe in a van? Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a small space, so it has to be done really clean and really simple. Uh, and the vibe that we saw it every time we walked into Huga was just, just exactly that, but it was still inviting. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we just kind of started kicking around some ideas and saw some finishes and some, some fabrics and thought, wow, maybe we could build a cool van out of this. Mm. Yeah. You know, when I first heard of this idea, you know, I had what I would picture, like, oh, they're gonna supply a few things. But after talking to Dave and during the build, it sounds like you guys had a pretty big, uh, pretty big part in creating what that interior of the van would look like. We did. Now it was really fun to kind of start thinking a little bit out of the box from a home or a room, but to get to a, a, a room on wheels, really. Uh, and you do start thinking about colors, about fabrics in there, even how to position lighting, how to build in certain lighting. Um, and then what objects and items can you bring in that both create a really good vibe, but are also super practical, of course, because you're going to get out there, you're going to be camping out, and which things can you use inside the camper van, but are also possibly to pull out when you're eating, dining, grilling, after swimming, relaxing, sitting in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, and then how to pack it all up and create a really cozy, comfy, yeah, home, because it doesn't matter whether it's raining outside, you're sitting outside, but mm -hmm. yeah, how to use those things all around. Mm. Yeah, and Dave, you often work with clients in that way where they're, they're designing their vans from scratch, is this yes. correct? Yep. And so that also includes aesthetic, um, and they can get as detailed as they'd like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our customers can come in, they can choose from a number of different fabrics or they can bring their own. We've done tufted leather seats mm -hmm. uh, or couches in the vans as well. Um, the key is that we bring in ideas from the customer and we incorporate them into a durable solution that we have because these vans are going to do 70 miles an hour down the road, bumping along down a washboard road to find a, a good rural uh, off-grid campsite. Mm -hmm. So it needs to hold up too. So we had to bring like the nice high-end feel of a home uh, and put it in something and, and keep it all together. Mm -hmm. And Alex, you do the same at Huga Life with guests or not guests, but customers who come in mm -hmm. and they ask you for your amazing design advice. Mm -hmm. you, are you able to go into their homes and help them in that way too? Yeah, we actually just rolled out a styling program um, this last year, which has been going really well so far. And we're able to go into people's homes and that could be you know, for a specific room, um, an office, the entire home, a living room. And we'll basically go in and um, help them with furnishings, lighting, decor. Um, and so the van was actually a really fun project for us too, to, you know, practice our styling. Mm. Yeah. What's really unique too, if you guys haven't been over to the shop, 
in the winter time. I don't know if you guys are doing this in the summer, but Saturdays are sauna days. Is that correct? Yeah. I saw that going on a little bit this year. Yeah, just uh, well, yeah, Nita. So Huga also definitely incorporates enjoyment, fun, mm. a good time basically. And so to put that, and you can do Huga. Huga is used as a verb in the Danish language. So you could say, hey guys, come over for dinner, Hugo with us tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we are always thinking of how to incorporate Hugo and to practically uh, do it as well. In this case, we got like, well, why don't we put a sauna in front of the shop? Mm -hmm. uh, quite a nice Nordic thing to do, mm -hmm. uh, both relaxing and fun. Um, so this past winter, we indeed every Saturday had a sauna in front of the shop. You could book an hour and come with some friends or family. And mm -hmm. that hour, the sauna was yours, coffee in the cafe before or after. Of course, they have the whole package, so we got a cold plunge next to it. <laughs> um, and just in, indeed to just just do Huga as well, not just say, buy this, your home is going to be more Huga, mm. uh, but totally to just to live it as well. Yeah, because yeah. it, it is Huga life. Right, all. right. So, it seems yeah. like we should be pulling the sauna with the van. That would be <laughs> yeah, the exactly. That would be package. the most <laughs> ideal thing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I feel um, that with, with Hula Life, it's always, for me, it's those things I didn't know I needed, right? And like a sauna or um, very much a part of the Scandinavian culture. And then once they're a part of your life, the candles, the, you know, the cozy stuff, um, it just becomes integrated. So Dave, were there any things in the van that showed up that you were like, wow, I never would have thought of this until um, it's there. And now you're yes. so many customers that you're going to There have. absolutely were a few yeah. things. I think the lighting uh, mm -hmm. was a big thing. Um, we have our normal built-in lighting that we use, uh, but Alex and Kuhn brought in some great accent pieces. Wow. Uh, they have these little, like, is it like a little candelabra thing? Yeah, it's like uh, a little portable light. Yeah, yeah and it's like a touch light. light. It's amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and then the globe light with the handle on top was yeah. fantastic. And mm -hmm. being able to yeah. hang that in the van and then grab it and take it out of the van, mm -hmm. there was just some amazing accessories. And then, you know, there's nothing better than laying on Gosh, what was it? Alpaca? Sheepskins. Uh, sheep's, well, the sheepskins are always amazing, but the the, the blankets and, and the, yeah. the, the covers was just, it was the next level. Like, mm. it took this van to uh, to a really another place. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the van is since sold, but if you guys want to reach out, I'm sure they could redo or refashion a, a total different Huga Life van or mm. a van from Dave. But um, what I want to focus on quickly before we end is, you know, you've created some really unique businesses but you both seemingly see the, the the power and the opportunity of collaboration. And if you could just speak to that a little bit, because I think that's really what we're trying to celebrate at Covered Bridge and TV8 is how to work together within this silo of our valley, but then how to create more community around that. No, yeah, what is really fun is indeed to see collaboration. Uh, we always believe that the more you collaborate, the sum of individual components becomes bigger than just a simple uh, equation. And that's what we've always tried to do as well. Um, so any partnership is really fun. And when Dave, when we got to start talking about this idea, we're totally on board. And it doesn't always need to be resulting into this massive opportunity or big thing, but it really is about creating community, putting things out there together. You are stronger, we think, together than just by yourself. Um, mm -hmm. And it is also just what we try to do at the shop and with the coffee bar and the cafe in there, bring in the sun, it is engaging the community because it just simply, it's kind of more, it's more Huga together as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we do, I mean, in the in the Vale Valley, I think it is really important that we all do come together and work together. And because like you said, there are just such amazing small businesses in the Valley and, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of passion and and grit and to make your business survive up here, I think as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think coming together and really helping each other and coming up with fun ideas. And this really was, it was mostly fun. It, like we yeah, had a really yeah. fun time with it and neat to connect with Dave and create this beautiful van. Um, but I think in the Valley, just all of us coming together, it's, it's important. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a big shout out to you guys as well with what you guys yeah. are doing with Covered Bridge to highlight those stories, mm -hmm. those connections, mm -hmm. and basically the passion from a lot of local entrepreneurs to bring that out there. Mm -hmm. it's much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, it's really wonderful to be able to bring these stories, um, partnerships, and wonderful people to life uh, on TV8. So thank you so much for watching today, Covered Bridge on TV8. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the journey. <laughs>